Hello everybody, Colin Baker here, the Sixth Doctor, but you know that, that's why you're watching this, because I am the Sixth Doctor, if I wasn't you wouldn't be watching it, there's a thought. Anyway, I am here to introduce The Two Doctors, which is one of my favourite stories, and it really is my favourite, because of several reasons, but the principal one is that Patrick Troughton was in it. I'd known Patrick uh, through my friend David Trout and his son um, for many years, uh, but I never worked with him. And to work with him was a joy because he was the actor who did the hardest job in Doctor Who ever. He made that first regeneration work. Suddenly, we weren't watching the old crotchety Doctor anymore. We were watching this new, wonderful, rather loose clever, sly, um, deceptive Doctor. And the country warmed to him and Doctor Who continued. And it's all because of him. We have the 97,642 Doctors that we now hear have inhabited the TARDIS. I wonder what number I really am. Perhaps I'm 6,412. Who knows? Who knows? Good joke. Anyway, the two Doctors, yes, good story too. A uh, good story written by Robert Holmes, who for me was one of the best writers of my time on television as the Doctor. Um, and he wrote a story which sprang from his own passion about his vegetarian beliefs. Um, the message quite clearly is, eating people is wrong, <laughs> which uh, <laughs> I think is probably a good message. But you can carry from it that uh, eating anything that was sentient, whether it mooed, um, barred or spoke, wasn't a good thing. Cast was magnificent. Nicola Bryant, of course, my gorgeous companion, um, who was, uh, by that time, we were well in our stride of being the Doctor and companion. Uh, Fraser Hines, whose companion to Patrick, um, who subsequently became a great friend, a good, funny, entertaining chap. Um, we filmed in Seville and he made a lot of friends in Seville, but then he was a single man, so that was all right. <laughs> John Stratton, another lovely actor who I'd never worked with before, um, who brought the, the appalling shock eye to life. And the wonderful, much missed, she was a very dear friend, Jackie Pierce, who played Chassini of the Quonsing Grig and did the most amazing piece of bizarre acting I have seen in many years when she stumbled upon some drops of blood on the steps outside the hacienda and how she reacted to that is something that appalled and delighted us as I hope it will you too when you watch it. So the two doctors, what more can be said, a magnificent piece of Doctor Who even though I was in it and we got to film in Spain and we got the first two days off because the makeup and wigs didn't get there in time. So what's not to like? We had fun. Hope you do too.